This video was sponsored by Skillshare, an online learning community for creators with over 30,000 classes on pretty much anything you'd want to get better at. I personally messed around with it for the promo they gave me and they had a great course by this DJ named King Author on audio mixing and mastering, which had some indispensable tips on there on how to punch up the depth of your sound. As well, if you're looking for help on writing songs, there's courses on that too. In fact, I was pleasantly surprised to see the incredible indie artist and friend of the Going Off podcast, Samus, has a hip hop writing course on there. It focuses on the intricacies of how to structure a rap verse, from word placement and the writing process to your cadence in the booth she lays out extremely helpful fundamentals for anyone trying to enhance their skills as a wordsmith so yeah if you're down for that the first thousand people to click the link in the description will get a free trial of skillshare premium and after that it's a little less than ten dollars a month anyway so if you're interested definitely give it a try hi guys rap critic here and this was a patreon voted episode and if you'd like to vote on what's next plus see episodes early and join my discord go to my patreon in the link tree below so let's talk about 24k golden now, Dude was actually on my radar a year or so ago when he made waves with I Go to USC, a raucous track waving a middle finger to the university he went to that had just recently been exposed for basically letting rich parents pay their kids' way to success in college courses. Bitch, I go to USC, I ain't been so in a week. And shit, why would you? I mean, man, to suddenly have hard proof that while you were grinding to keep your grades up, other students in your class were just coasting by because their parents gave a bribe to the same teachers telling you to work harder? Yeah, th that's definitely gonna throw your respect for an institution's authority into question. So as his first album title suggests, he came to a very clear decision about his life path and struck it out in the real world, garnering enough attention through his music to nab this year's XXL freshman spot and cook up a number one hit for himself with today's single, Mood. So now it's time for the big leagues. No more college radio with frat anthems that are definitely a little immature, but also really catchy. Onto mainstream radio with love songs that are definitely immature, but also really catchy. See, this song is a bouncy pop rap song about being in a relationship with a girl who's just perpetually unhappy about things. Why you always in the mood? Fuck around like a brand new. And you know, I get it. You're writing a pop song that's trying to express a universal enough emotion that people will gravitate towards it, but songs with topics like this often come off as insensitively dismissive of women's feelings. Like, huh, those women folk with their irrational emotions, am I right, fellas? I ain't trying to tell you it's a tool, but try to play cool. Although with this next lyric, you, you can tell he's trying to back off a bit. Like he's saying, hey, he's not bringing this up to be controlling or anything, it's just that on his end, it seems like things are fine and he just wants to chill out and enjoy their time together. Baby, I ain't playing by your rules, everything look better with a view. Now, if you wanted to be charitable, you could say he's talking about how when you get another perspective on what you're going through, you know, you might be able to get a more level-headed approach to the situation you're in. But it, it kind of just sounds like he's saying, hey, look outside, we're in a nice neighborhood because of how rich I am. So whatever it is you're going through, it can't be that bad, right? Well, and let's check in with the first verse from the guest artist Ian Dior to get some perspective on the status of the relationship they're talking about. I can never get attached when I start to feel I'm attached, so I was in a feeling bad. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, shit. Uh, we're, we're only four bars in and I, I think I just figured out why your girl's feeling moody, bro. Cause you just started by saying you don't emotionally get attached to women and, and whenever you do feel like that's happening, you immediately cut them off. And for reasons that seem unfathomable to him, he feels bad about doing that. I mean, okay, first off, feeling bad for doing shitty things, it's called a conscious, you know, that's good, you know, it proves you're human, but, but that's not even the main part, because the reason you feel bad is because, like you just said, you cut the women off in your life exactly when you feel like they're opening up to you emotionally. Like, jeez, I thought this song was supposed to be about a relationship dynamic that needed some untangling to really understand how things are going awry between them. But for it to be that obvious what the issue is, and I feel like I'm a tech guy who just got called in to fix a PS4 just to find out the owner's been putting in the discs upside down. So, I mean, when it comes to the hook about him saying everything looks better with a view, uh, I guess he's technically right. You could be in a shitty relationship with a negligent boyfriend while looking out the front door of a Section 8 shotgun shack, but you're in a shitty relationship with a negligent boyfriend while looking out the front door of a two-story mansion. You know, it's relatively better. But then when you get to 24 karat Magic's verse, he doesn't even seem to have confidence that she actually loves him. So I Plus, he weaves in lyrics about paranoia concerning her faithfulness, while at the same time clearly showcasing that he's solely concerned about having sex. Well, you, like, like you just said, she's still moody, so no, that's clearly not all you need to know, dude. We play games a lot to avoid the depression. This isn't complicated. If she wants more than a fuck buddy, but you just want a fuck buddy, leave her alone and find someone who's okay with just being a fuck buddy. Relationship advice with rap This really doesn't seem that hard. Overall, I give this a two out of five. It's just another Thugs Need Love 2 song with lyrics that show there's very clearly some emotional needs he's ignoring while acting like the expensive material stuff he provides for her is enough to make up for it. Like, yeah, yeah, I heard it all before. Well, that's the episode. 
Leave a like if you like because it helps. Comment if you have something to say because it helps even more. And hit the subscribe button and the bell because it helps the most. And if you want to get my merch, follow me on social media, listen to my podcast, or support the show, all those links are in the link tree below. So check all that fun stuff out and I'll catch you next time. Peace.